Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually use your Ethereum wallet inside the Binance Smart Chain. You don't have to go outside of your way to do a Binance Smart Chain wallet. All you have to do is switch the network into Binance Smart Chain and use your same Ethereum wallet. Very, very simple. All you have to do is go down here into this article. I'm gonna give you this article as well in case you guys wanna use it. You take this information right here, you go to MetaMask, and as you can see in MetaMask, you can go to the drop down menu, you go to custom RPC, and then you put that information in, and then you can switch between Ethereum wallets and between Matic or in this case, Binance Smart Chain, whatever you want. So that is that simple. It's literally that simple. It's the same wallet as you can see right here. And all you got to do is change the actual network. So the token for um, Ethereum is ERC20. For Binance, the code of the token is BEP20. BEP20. That is the token in the Binance Smart Chain. So you can actually have Ethereum as an ERC20 in your Ethereum wallet and Ethereum in the Binance Smart Chain as a BEP20. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get BNB or Ethereum into your Binance Smart Chain wallet. You don't even have to go through an exchange, but if you do go through an exchange like Binance.com, you gotta make sure when you withdraw, you either withdraw ERC20 or you withdraw BEP20, depending on what chain you want that token to be in. So you can have BNB as an ERC20 or BNB as a BEP20. So I'm gonna actually show you how to do it without going to a centralized exchange because you gotta do KYC and stuff like that. Now, you can do the Binance Smart Chain chain bridge and you don't need anything all you have to do is go from one exchange i mean from one wallet to the other one so if you want to put ethereum as an erc20 into bep20 you don't have to go through binance.com and then change it there and then come back into your binance smart chain wallet so you can do it seamlessly in the Binance Smart Chain Bridge. Very important, you're gonna need a VPN depending on what country you're in. The one I use is called the Proton VPN. It's the VPN for the Proton Mail, the best email, not a sponsorship, but it is the best email, the most secure email out there, better than Google, better than everything. ProtonMail.com, and they also have a VPN that you can download. Yes, you gotta pay for it. So I would suggest you actually get a VPN that is not for free. You get something that is good. I use the Proton VPN, so you guys you do you and use whatever you want but that's what i use now ladies and gentlemen now that i'm in australia welcome to australia let's go vpn baby so you go to the binance.org i'm gonna give you the bridge for this this is decentralized bridge you don't have to use a centralized exchange no kyc no anything so if you have money in your ethereum wallet and you want to transfer it to your ethereum wallet in binance chain it's very very simple so you go right here you connect wallet um, make sure you are in the Ethereum network. It's gonna ask you MetaMask or Binance Chain Wallet. Of course, we're using MetaMask like I showed you. You connect, it's gonna, uh, I'm in the Binance Smart Chain right now. You can actually go from Binance Smart Chain into Ethereum as well, but let's actually change to Ethereum. Ethereum mainnet right here, bam. Um, how much money do I have right here? I have 0.23, I already made a transfer, but the last video came out like trash, so I had to do it, I I'm gonna do it again right here. So. What you want to do is you want to go from the Ethereum network. Let's see. So you want to change it to Binance Smart Chain, as you can see, BEP20. So you want to go from the Ethereum network, right? You want to go from the Ethereum network, ERC20, into BEP20. So very, very simple. In this case, I'm going to put, how much do I have? I don't have a lot. So let's just put 0.1. Um, I don't want USDT, what I want is Ethereum. So I put 0 0.1. Um, then right here in destination, very, very important. Destination, you're sending it to your own address because it is your own address in the Binance Smart Chain wallet. As you guys can see, no matter what we do right here, whether we change to Matic, to Binance Smart Chain, it doesn't matter. As, as soon as you um, add a network, it's gonna be the same wallet as Ethereum. That's how L2 works. So you just copy the address it's the same address whether it's ethereum or binance and then you put it right here all you're doing is changing um, from erc20 into bep20 it's that simple now you click next and then you confirm there's going to be a transaction fee it's not going to be a lot um 
at least lately hasn't been a lot. As you can see, you need to transfer assets to address provided below. So that's gonna do it as soon as I submit the transaction. That address is an address from Binance. So it's like the middleman, right? It's the middleman. So you're sending from ERC20 to that address and that address is gonna give you BEP20 in return. So BEP20, Ethereum BEP20. So submit transaction to MetaMask. Hello, there we go. $3, not that bad. Bam, confirm. Now we gotta wait for the transaction to confirm and that's gonna take a little bit. Um, so let's get be back when that is done. So as you guys can see right here, it says now waiting for confirmations. Once this is confirmed, you're gonna receive 0.1 ETH in the Binance Smart Chain. Right now we're in the Ethereum network, um, but it's, since it's the same wallet, um, it recognizes it. So you go right here, it's also gonna say the same thing, waiting for confirmations. And once it hits 12, we're gonna see that point 0.1 inside our wallet within the Binance Smart Chain. So it's very, very simple. All you gotta do is change between Ethereum and Binance and voila, that's it. That's it. That's basically it. Super, super simple, guys. Super, super simple. Right here, we only have BNB, but you can do the same thing with BNB as well. You can go from BNB ERC20 to BNB BEP20. So if you have BNB, if you have BNB in your ERC20 wallet, in your Ethereum network wallet, right, you can change it and do the same process I just did right now. Now the next step is go to pancakeswap.finance. I'm gonna leave the link down below so you guys don't get it confused. And all you gotta do is go to exchange. It's just like Uniswap, just like Uniswap. And then you right here search for ETH. You connect your wallet. Obviously remember to always be on the Binance Smart Chain. Make sure you're on the Binance Smart Chain. And now you're in the Binance Smart Chain, you change to ETH. And the ETH that you transfer into your BEP20, the ETH that you transfer should populate right here. Um, for some reason it disconnected it should populate right here I already transfer 0.4 eth um from my ethereum wallet into the uh binance smart chain wallet which is the same one as your ethereum wallet with, with different codes erc20 to bep20 very important to remember that so now if you guys want to get kpad right kpad so you guys can stake it in the kpad network all you got to do is search for kpad and if you can't find it if you can't find it here and most likely you won't be able to find it um because it's a new token you go to coingecko.com you go to kpad you search for it you find the address, uh, the contract address right here. As you can see, it's a BSC, Binance Smart Chain. You copy it, you go to Pancake Swap, and for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna remove this. Let me just, I'm gonna remove this K pad. Jesus. Okay, I'm just gonna put whatever here. So if I wanna search for K pad and I'll remove it, then it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to find it you just copy the address the contract address make sure you find the right contract address don't get it confused you add right here and that's it you basically get your let's actually switch right here put k pad we already added it bam easy you approve transaction it's gonna be very very low cost because we are in the minus smart chain low cost that's the whole idea of being in the minus smart chain and then you get your k pad you obviously go to the k pad I'm going to leave the link for this as well. You go to the KPAD and then you stake your tokens in KPAD if you guys want to go that route in terms of um, getting the MIS token or getting an allocation in the MIS token. When MIS actually comes out in decentralized exchanges, it's going to be the same process. You go search for MIS, you switch from Ethereum or whatever you have. It could be BNB as well, it could be anything. You go from Ethereum into um, MIS token and then you swap it, voila, that's all you have to do. As of right now, obviously you cannot find MIST because it hasn't come out. Don't fall for this one. This is another token. Don't fall for this. Don't go here and, you know, grab this token address. Although this is Ethereum, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that because you're going to get confused. Wait until the actual token comes out officially and don't get, don't get, don't get scammed. Don't get scammed, basically. That's all I'm saying. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. Make sure you hit that like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment without any scams and make sure you subscribe to this channel because this is the number one tutorial blockchain gaming channel in the world. No NFT, no play, baby. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.